A block of historic commercial buildings is coming down on South Broadway. St. Louis City issued a demolition permit for the Carondelet neighborhood. New tonight, our Pepper Baker has more on why city leaders believe it's a threat to public safety. You know, I grew up on South Broadway. These are my streets as far as I'm concerned. Patrick Martin remembers playing pool as a kid in one of the businesses that once occupied the 7200 block of South Broadway, but now it sits vacant and dilapidated. I don't want to set a condominiums going there. The row of brick storefronts was built in the late 1800s and became part of the application for the Central Carondelet Historic District's listing on the National Register of Historic Places. Unfortunately, you know, they have crumbled over the last you know, 10 years have been in really deplorable condition. We've been trying to get the various owners to do something. St. Louis City Building Commissioner Frank Oswald provided a list of building violations issued about walls collapsing, windows and doors missing, illegal usage, and a fire hazard. The fire chief's been calling me about it for some time, and he was very concerned, rightfully so, of the condition of the building and potentially, you know, putting uh, first responders at risk. On January 19th, they issued a demolition permit to the current owner, Kevin Coolidge. And what that allows is a licensed demolition contractor to go ahead and do the work to take the building down. Uh, from my understanding, this owner is taking parts of the building, the historic parts, and uh, those sections that they can salvage for other purposes. Oswald said the owner is stepping up to pay the cost of the demolition, which doesn't always happen in most cases. So many of these buildings the city ends up taking down and spending taxpayers' money on. So, you know, in this particular case, the owner is doing it as you know, on their own dime. It's listed as a $30,000 demolition project, but Martin feels the building's significance is priceless. It's a piece of history that can never be reclaimed, right. period, no matter what. In South City, Pepper Baker, five on your side. Demolition work has begun, and our partners at the St. Louis Business Journal report the owner, Kevin Kulik, plans to replace the block with new storefronts that look historic.